it's missing, you know? Yeah. I think they're, they're, they're put together as commercial ventures and there's no, you know, they're not, they're not saying anything, that they're not giving anything really of themselves, apart from a little bit of energy, you know, and their looks. Um, but that's, but like I said, it's not, it's not all like that. Yeah. Well, there's some great things out there too. I mean, I think there's been some remarkable female singers in the last five years. I mean, Lauren Hill and Macy Erica. Gray and Erica Badu. I mean, amazing. Yeah. Really. And other artists. I mean, Beck, I think, was one of the most interesting artists to come out of the 90s. Do you see yourself in people when they're young artists, when they're coming out? Do you sometimes kind of see things about uh, ideas, you know, yeah. if, pe if people are trying to do yeah. something and push something in a new direction. I mean, you yeah. tend to, I mean, we, 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 you tend to kind of not want, you, you want to be modest, you know, you don't want to kind of be big-headed and, and, and claim that you're the godfather of this and the, the daddy of that and, and the reason that this is <laughs> happening now, you know, because it doesn't look very good. It looks, it, 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 it can, it either looks like you've been left out or you've got sour grapes or, or you've just lost it, actually. <laughs> So you tend, I, I, I tend not to think like that at all. It's, it's when people come to us and they say, yeah. or they say in other interviews, that we've influenced them. That's when, it, that's when we, we, we realize it. I mean, there's people like um, Fred Durst, Limp Bizkit, mm -hmm. as cited your engine, as has Jonathan from Korn, as has Gwen Stefani from No Doubt, you know. And, and of course, they're of an age where they would have grown up with our music. Of course, mm -hmm. we would have influenced them, yeah. Strange feeling, though, isn't it? I mean, do you remember when you were... Well, yeah, but, you know, uh, music's one of those things that, that seeps into your life, uh, and it does affect you. I mean, certainly, um, all of us are still affected by music now. You know, you hear a song on the radio, even if it's a song that maybe you don't like, yeah. it can keep going round and round in your head, and, and, and it'll come back three months later and six months later. Um, it's one of those things. I mean, you just hope when you make a record that you do connect with somebody's life in a way and you become part of their life for a while, is their soundtrack. Is that know? important when people say that to you? I mean, you're talking about, you know, connecting. When people tell you things like that, does yeah, it? Yeah, it is important. Oh, yeah, you bet. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because, because you know, these, the, these are people who are like us and we know how much we were affected by other people and to know that, and to know that we're doing the same thing for somebody else is a fantastic thing. We're going to take another break. Don't go away. Lots more to come. Simon, Nick, and Warren. Duran Duran. We'll be right back. Now I'm broken. It's no joke. It's hot as hell. Too bad. Don't say it. Don't mention what happened in the breaks. <laughs> oh, <yeah. Thank> goodness. <laughs> it's the rule. Now, is it as you're kind of doing this new thing and going into the, into the future, do you look back at the times when there was walls of people? Do you look at them in another way? I mean, hmm. you know, you're 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 putting out new albums on your own. Yeah. You're talking about kind of getting accepted for what you're doing in the future, and then you yeah. look back when you were just. I mean, you were like. Yeah, I mean, I think seas of people were turning out all over the world for you. Do you look back with a new kind of appreciation? Well, I think I think with fondness, actually. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, we had a great time then. You move on with your life. It's a, for us that was our late teenage years and our early twenties. You know, a lot of people also try to make us feel guilty about those things. Do they? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, Especially subconsciously, or, or or I mean, in the media, or they 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 say, well, you can't possibly be a real band if that, if you've got a following like that. I think you know we we kind of accepted that a little bit, and it made us go, well, no, we want to be, we, we want credibility. We 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 we're not like that. We really don't we really don't want the fans to be following us. We don't, and we've kind of pushed it away a little bit. And now there's enough times gone by for us to think, hey. I'm so glad that that was us that it happened to, yeah. not another band. So yeah. you can say, you look back and say, we deserved it. Yeah. yeah the song's connected, but you know when we get that now is when we play live. Mm. People yeah. turn out, they go crazy for the songs they like that they know. It's fantastic. They're having a good time. Is it a different, do people listen? in concerts differently now. There's than no they screaming I mean, until the end of the song. Okay. <laughs> they, could, they couldn't possibly listen. It was a Beatles thing going on. Nobody was 
could listen. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I think that's that, but that, but that was the power of, 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 of you know, a physical presence, and that was that was the phenomena. That absolutely was, and um, and it's an amazing thing, and it's it, you know it's happening for some band right now somewhere in the world. <laughs> it's also the they're being group. screamed at, and it's fantastic yeah. and and great and good to them, and, you know, power to them for for being there, and, and I hope they enjoy it. I think the strangest thing for us at the time was that it hadn't happened for a long time. Yeah, yeah. You know, it just it just seemed to come out of the blue because yeah. it, it hadn't happened to a lot of the bands that we grew up liking. Yeah. It wasn't that sort of a thing. No. It was really. The Beatles and the Stones and the Doors was the last time that, that, that it happened. And so then in the 70s, it just didn't happen. Well, not so much, no. The Bay City Rollers. No, it was yeah. just very, no, it's very limited, not. though. They it became one thing. Television oriented. Yeah. Was it the, um, the Cow Sills and uh, what was that band? Yeah. David Cassidy's yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. the Monkeys. But I mean, you know, we, we, you know, we, we came back as a full on rock band, you know, living, living the full on rock and roll lifestyle. And, 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 and having, you know, 400 people banging drums and singing outside your bedroom, uh, your hotel bedroom, every night. Yeah. Did that help the whole thing? The Didn't help us get any sleep. <laughs> no, there was a lot of really cross executives. <laughs> <laughs> but, the, but you did bring it back. I mean, you had it all. You had the sex, drugs, rock and roll thing going on, too. Was that part we of it? We had a bit of that, you know, yes, yeah. indeed. I and mean, you'd be, we would have been stupid not to. Yeah. I think, to be honest with you, because that was, you know, it's something you could do. And um, let's face it, why, uh, you know, in, in those days, why did, did guys get in, into bands to get laid? <laughs> You're right. Simple. I mean, you know, maybe I think. Then, so you, you know, sat around. Some things never. By the way. You know? Okay, yeah, but you sat around there and you said, "How old were you?" And you said, "Let's get into a band so we can get laid." Uh, well, uh, I was about 14 when I said I'd get into a band. I don't know whether that was the reason then or I, not. I was 10 years old. I had a little. I was nine years old. I had a little drum set. And it was a very cheap little thing. And the same company made a, a guitar, and they advertised on television. And on the, gu the guitar commercial, they had a guy playing on the beach with, surrounded by girls. And I said, I'm just putting down the drumsticks. I want to yeah. get a guitar. I want to do that. It looks really hard, but I like, what it, I like yeah. what's happening yeah. there. <laughs> and I, saw, I, saw, I remember seeing um, um, The Hard Day's Night at the, at the, at when I must have been about 11 or something, and, and thinking, God, that looks like fun. <laughs> <laughs> So you planned it. I mean, you did. You must have been surprised, though. I mean, looking back on your life, and I was going through your life last night, I thought, you must have been an unbelievable feeling when it all came together and started working, and especially when you arrive in America, and we're there like 12,000 people a waiting we had, outside. Yeah, we had a real shock. No yeah. question. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we, 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 we didn't expect that. I mean, actually, we'd been to America a couple of times and played here on uh, our first album and the Rio album, um, touring through clubs and it was very it was very underground sort of cult yeah, audience it was, it was we a had night club scene we were playing to over 18s over 21s most of the places and then we came back and we did the in-store at um, the video shack yeah. times square so it was times square in yeah, new time, york yeah. square yeah. i'm mean, the close the street now <laughs> they had to get Somebody mounted they had to get you? mounted policemen no, not, not the same as a Canadian one. No, no, come on. Not quite we are, we take a lot of jokes for this. Everybody I, does. I think Mounty Police have been fantastic. Do we? Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're always making fun of us on the Oscars. But that's all right. We can take right. it. But it must have been a great feeling. Did it? Is it like, was there any drug, any feeling in life that can compare with kind of facing that kind of wall of ad adoration? Well, I don't, I don't know. You know, it's funny because I'm glad it happened when we were that age. I think you'd and feel you slightly more uncomfortable yeah. with it um, being a little older now. I mean, you, you look for different things. Uh, I mean, uh, we've been very lucky with our career. Um, it's a different kind of appreciation, I think. I mean, it's great to have an audience that goes mad. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, which, which mm -hmm. you know, fortunately, we, we, we still get. But it's very frustrating time. not being able to be heard because <laughs> yeah. they're yes, screaming exactly. so loud. Very frustrating. And funny enough, it was only when they stopped screaming or they quieted down that we realized how much we'd have to practice. It sounds like we thought we sounded. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's the reason why the Beatles stopped playing live. I mean, a lot of other yeah. people could have seen them play, which I, I, mean, I regret that I never get to see them. But because the, no one was listening to their music when they were playing. No, it was too. You must have felt like you identified with the Beatles. Uh, well, we kind of thrust upon us a lot, actually. Yeah, you know, I mean, we made one one Beatles song as well, yeah. and, um, we and suddenly it was, now. and we had that, we had that, um, you know, sort of, you know, five cheeky lads from England kind of image, and it's uh, and it stuck. Well, I think the thing is as well, you know, coming out of England, especially, I mean, the Beatles really were the greatest pop band, um, and everybody who's in a band 
nods their hat towards the Beatles a little bit. You, I mean, you have to. I mean, they, they were pioneering all these things and writing these beautiful melodies with harmonies on them and songs that were touching people very directly. I mean, absolutely. And so they were a great influence, though, on you, too. You were also influenced, yeah. you did a kind of a... There was a Lou Reed thing going on there, too. Oh, we did. We've done it. We've, I mean, we, we made an album of covers, but just before we get to there, just the Beatles thing, I mean, what you have to understand is that, I mean, the Beatles influenced our national culture yeah. quite profoundly. My family's I mean, from Liverpool. You know, so, I, I mean, you understand <laughs> yeah. how... No, you know, I mean, they're, 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 they're beyond iconic sort of status in, in, in the UK. I mean, they are... Everywhere. They're, they're, they're part of... They're, they're regarded as something that was real and good and fun all at the same time. Um, and, and, and it's an amazing thing. And, and it, affects the, it affected the way we see ourselves and the way we want to put, up, you know, put ourselves forward to other people, you know, about being yeah. real, not about being plastic, not necessarily about making money either. There's something more to it than all that. And it was a class system break too, wasn't it? Absolutely. Yes. Big time. Yeah. yeah. Which was a bigger thing. I don't even think America got what it meant in Britain. You no, know, it's hard it though, isn't it, when it's it a completely different you. culture. Uh, I mean, I mean, certainly I, I think that uh, now the British culture and American culture is a lot closer than it probably was in the 60s. Um, mm. But when they arrived here, I mean, you certainly got the songs and the melodies and what, whatever anyone else was getting. Yeah, but it was different, the transformation, the breaking out of class boundaries. Absolutely. Elvis, yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's a yeah, wonderful yeah. story. But, I mean, that is, but that, but that is the great, the great rock and roll dream, isn't it? Really, you know, it is, and that's from, what rocked from, up. From, 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 you know, from the gutter up to the, you know, up to a, a pedestal. It's not and as good. And then back down again with a with a rude <laughs> awakening. <laughs> Let's talk about that when we return. Their new CD is called Pop Trash. Duran Duran, my special guest, stay with us. Didn't you want? Now that guy in, on, yeah. on the massage table had a, had, a, he had a really nasty zit in the middle of his oh, back, and, and, every, and it just makes me want to. I just don't like it when it gets to that it. bit. So I just want to kind of fast forward Edit to it. the next. Yeah. Step. Now it would have been covered up, wouldn't it? With yeah. Digital it would have. pixels. Yeah. How much influence did you have in your videos? Because your videos really were. I mean, they were like little James Bond movies. They were. Well, they weren't just taking I mean, it. Well, a lot of influence. I mean, because firstly, we always chose the directors. Um, and we wrote the music, which which inspired them. Yeah. You know, um, and obviously ideas, things that you want in them. Um, we, we've always wanted to present different imagery with different songs, and talked about it a lot. You and know, you push the envelope. You try to. I, I mean, sex uh, you stuff know. and ice cubes and nipples. Oh, there you go. That's stuff. really pushing the envelope, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it seemed like it then, well, though. Well, People well, flipped. Open the envelope, yeah. actually. <laughs> Yeah, but when it we did. started with video, you know, actually yeah. it, was, it was a very blank canvas. Um, you could do anything then. I mean, now it's much harder to think of new ideas for video. It because is. so much has been done, and there's so many great directors out there and acts throwing, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars of, of videos. Which is why you tend to get so many, so many videos which are relying purely on, on sort of technical well, that's development. Well, The technology has changed yeah. a lot, so you can experiment in new areas. Yeah. Yeah, but finding a good, simple image and a good, simple idea for video is, is, is the most wonderful thing. And you did. I mean, your first, the first pictures of you, there was color. There was these good-looking guys. There was wonderful music. And there was an eroticism. There was also, it reminded me, I remember the first one I saw, it was like the first time I saw Roxy Music and Brian Ferry. There was a